Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see few journals which are paid and unpaid and related to multidisciplinary and agriculture, aquatic science etc. So this is the very first journal which is Journal of Applied Science and Engineering. So here you can see this is still indexed in Scopus. Okay, so I am receiving a lot of uh, messages like whether uh, in few journal it is mentioned like 2022, whether you are ready to submit the paper. No, please ensure that it is still present. And if you want to see the discontinued list, please download the Scopus list of journals. I have already um, uh, really published a published as shots like how to publish sorry how to download the scopus list of journals and see what is the discontinued journals in the last year okay so this is the very first journal here you can see this is multidisciplinary and engineering and general engineering so if you click on the source home page it will take you to this page okay it will explain about what are all the what is about the journal okay whether uh, it is indexed in scopus of course it is indexed in esci okay and if you just click on the authors okay you can see the instructions for authors article processing charge everything okay and if you click on the about it will tell you the aim and scope so here you can see what all the um, subject which this is covering this particular journal is covering what is the scope of the a journal okay. so here <clears throat> you can see that it covers physics max uh, chemistry biochemistry chemical and material engineering electrical engineering civil environmental engineering water resource engineering mechanical and electromechanical aerospace computer science and information engineering so all these are the scope of this particular journal good to go let us go and click instructions to the author here they have given the word template and latex template so this is the uh, common thing which we have to check whether it is whether your uh, article is under the scope of any particular journal whatever you're going to submit it so what are the important information for the manuscript formatting so you should research you should you should identify whether your uh, you have a research cat you whether you are uh, submitting a research paper okay and also uh, you have to submit a cover letter so if you wanted to know how to write a cover letter please leave your comment i will definitely help you out like how to write a cover letter to the editor and article types please check the journal's requirement okay and how the format should be what is the page length okay how much page length they are accepting what is the file format what is the manuscript title how it should be and what is the abstract and keyword everything everything they have clearly mentioned here so please read the complete instructions to the author second thing which we have to check is what the article processing charge so this paper is uh, uh is you have to uh, you have to pay the article processing charge for this paper there is no article submission charge okay few journal will ask you for the article submission charge itself like even before knowing whether your paper will be accepted or not you have to pay the amount but here you have to pay only the article processing charge only if your paper is accepted you have to pay the fee for that for that first nine proof pages including figures tables and others are charged 165 usd so if you take 165 usd it is around 13,570. okay somewhere around that or 5000 ntd this is for nine pages okay and if you are just going with the uh, after line if you are going with the 10 pages then every page includes 65 usd okay and here if you are going to submit the eight page proof then uh, it charges 100 usd so here they have clearly mentioned what is the charge for that okay so the next thing which we have to check is what how what is the uh, issues okay how many issues they are publishing so you can see a list of issues here that like how many uh, issues per year okay you can see the 2022 if you just expand it they are publishing six issues per year you can see here okay in 2023 they have started 
Wow. So I think they have already uh, uh, published nearly 10 issues. Something might be the few issues might be, you know, like uh, it might be like uh, special issues as well. You can check that. Okay, this is related to 2022. And if you click on 2021, it's six. Okay, I think from 2023, they have started, they are planning to uh, publish 10 issues or 11 issues, might be 12 issues per year. Okay, so it's in press. Okay, 11th issue is in press. So if you wanted to know more about this particular journal, you can visit this page. Let us go to the next journal, which is Journal of Experimental Biology. So, agriculture, so it covers agriculture and biological science, animal science and zoology, agriculture, insect science, aquatic science, and ecology, evolution, behavioral and system uh, systematics. So, this is since uh, 1962. It's there in um, Scopus. So, there is lesser chance that they will be removing this particular journal from the Scopus list. So if you click on this play page, it will take you to this uh, this link. Okay, so you can directly go ahead and see like for authors. If you click on for authors, you can see submit a manuscript, um, aim and scope, everything. Okay, so if you click on aim and scope, you can see what are all the aim and scope of the journal. So what is uh, what is the important uh, scope they have? Okay, all these things you can see. So you can, what are the types of articles you can publish? If you click on article, uh, what are the article they are accepting? Research article, short communications, methods and techniques, reviews, commentaries, con uh, conversation, conversation, correspondence, inside JEB, everything they are accepting. Okay. So here, if you go and see about us, if you want to know about uh, um, this particular journal, if you click on about JEB, so they will be telling you like what is all about JEB. What is the metric? So this is free to publish. Okay, so no page or color charges, no hidden fees. So you can publish this journal for free. You can publish in this journal for free. And one more thing which you have to check is what how many issues per year, right? So if you go and click on uh, issues archive, so you can check Okay, so in um, okay in January, uh, what is it? January they have published one. January, February, February, March is in progress. March is in progress. April, I think, bi monthly, which means that twenty twenty two. If I give twenty twenty two, let us see. Yes, see, uh, really one two three four one two three four five ten fifteen twenty. 25 nearly 25 issues in the last year itself so of course your paper have a higher uh, chances to uh, publish in this particular journal if you, your article belongs to this uh, scope okay and the next journal is what canadian journal of fisheries and aquatic sciences so here you can see it is since 1980 it is indexed in scopus and here you can see agriculture and biological sciences aquatic science okay so if you click on this source home page it is not taking you to the particular journal because it's showing some error so i have just searched in the author guidelines you can see like what is the uh, manuscript format what is the manuscript template spelling everything they have mentioned like what are the important factors which you should consider uh, to submit in this particular journal and if you click on uh, okay so if you click on the publication fee you can see what is the publication fee for this okay um in many journals okay so if you just scroll down unless okay okay so you can see here that the fee uh, canadian publishing is proud to offer flexible publishing options for authors many of our journals publication is free but some publishing option like if you wanted to go with an open access then you have to pay the fee the fees help to mitigate publication costs which include peer review copy editing page composition web hosting and open access so fees vary by publishing model and journal okay so here you can see that um, uh, that is if you want to go with an open access 
then you have to probably pay the fee okay so here you can see canadian journal of journal uh, fisheries and aquatic sciences uh, i can click here fisheries and aquatic sciences in order to see what is the uh, cost of this okay so for this fees apply only if authors choose the article to be published if you want your uh, journal to be published as an open access then you have to pay the fee or else you don't want to pay any fee so what is the payment for that it is dollar three thousand okay if you want some discounts then it is also possible you can read this okay and the last journal which we are going to see is what Egyptian uh, Journal of Aquatic Biology and Fisheries. So this is also related to aquatic science. It's there in Scopus as of now. Okay, so if you go and see here, you can see it's bi-monthly and they are publishing it every two months. Okay, so Jan, March, May, July, September and November. It's indexed in Scopus, everything and article charges is worth 18,000 Egyptian pound for Egyptian authors and dollar 160 for non-Egyptian authors that is 160 which is uh, um, which is nearly 13,160 something okay so if you wanted to go ahead and publish here you can see and you can see like what are the types of journals or what are the type of scope like what is the scope they are expecting so here you can see the complete information here so I hope you find this video useful and again I'm telling it's a, it's a, it's a big disclaimer okay this i am publishing it on 2023 march okay if you are seeing this video if you are hearing this video after three months please recheck in the scopus index in uh, scopus database you can find the scopus database here click on the source and go and check type your uh, title and then please check it before you submit your journal because these journals are subject to change every uh, quarterly basis scopus may change may update the scopus list of change uh, scopus list of journals so don't always rely on this video please check before you submit not only i'm telling my video i'm telling everywhere even if you see that in any website don't directly uh, go and submit your article when the paper is mentioned like it's a scopus index so please go and cross check in the scopus database as well before you submit thank you take care bye, -bye.